What if I told you when you look up at the night sky, most of those points of light are actually more than one star? Don't believe me? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Hey there, you scruffy looking nerf herders. Julia here for D News. As we ramp up for the new Star Wars film, oh, it better be good, we were wondering, is a Tatooine sunset a work of fiction? Well, science says such a planet might be out there in a galaxy far, far away. Scientists know that double sun systems are pretty common. Binary star systems orbit around a common center of mass. Usually, one is bigger than the other and is called the primary. While most look like a single point of light to us here on Earth, some you can tell are binary just by looking through a telescope. Appropriately, these are called visual binaries. Some are too far away or too close together to really tell apart. To detect these, researchers use spectroscopy. They look for Doppler shifts, or the way their wavelengths of light change when they revolve around each other. You can guess what researchers call these. Yeah, spectroscopic binaries. Some binaries align with Earth in a way where one star eclipses the other. So naturally, scientists call these eclipsing binaries. Binaries form kind of like twins. Some form like identical twins, where the same body then splits into two. The young star spins so fast it collapses. The ball of burning gas elongates and cleaves into two like a cell divided. But one study published in the Astrophysical Journal found evidence that binaries form more like fraternal twins. They form separately, but from the same mass of gas and dust. The study used the Very Large Array to look at young stars just starting to form. A disk of gas and dust surrounds these baby stars, and when the researchers looked closer, they saw another small clump starting to form. The disk fragmented and developed another baby star. While this sounds kind of complicated, turns out it's pretty common. Some estimates suggest nearly half of all the stars we see are actually multiple star systems. While these star systems form pretty easily, scientists thought it would be pretty difficult for Earth-like planets to form around them. Previously, scientists thought Tatooine was just a work of fiction. Most celestial bodies found orbiting binary star systems were uninhabitable big gassy giants. It's tricky for more rocky planets to form around a star. Too close and they get pulled in, too far away and they don't form at all. Around a single star, planets form in concentric rings, so they rarely cross each other's path. If they do, they come together slowly and form a single planet without much damage. Around a binary star system, however, it's another story. Planets could hit each other at higher speeds, smashing them to bits before they can ever coalesce into a planet. But researchers from the University of Utah think that if planets find an oval orbit, they'll nest around each other and won't crash into destruction. They say that it could be just as easy to make an Earth-like planet around a binary star as it is around a single star, like our Sun. And researchers from The Ohio State University found a terrestrial planet orbiting in a binary star system. This planet is about 3,000 light years away. It's cold and dark, so probably not inhabited. But the cool thing about this planet, its orbit is in kind of an S shape. It basically ignores one of the stars and just orbits around one of them. And its discovery could provide evidence that similar planets, maybe even ones like Tatooine, exist. Speaking of space and wars in space, is there a dark side of the moon? Is there sound in space? Check out more of these tall space tales in this great video from Life Noggin. There's a myth that says that one side of the moon is constantly bathed in light, while the other is in a constant darkness. This isn't true at all. The moon is tidally locked to the Earth so that one side always faces our planet. Got any other space questions you want us to answer? Let us know down in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week.